good morning dear students in last lecture we have seen about newton's first law of motion now we discuss newton's second law of motion its its examples and uh, newton's third law of motion its applications in detail newton's second law of motion state that the acceleration of a moving body is directly proportional to the net force acting on the body and it is inversely proportional to mass of the body it means more mass less acceleration less mass more acceleration so as per this force equation f is equal to ma where f stands for net force acting on the body m is mass of the body and e is acceleration of the body the applications of newton's second law of motion are here given number 1 the greater force is required to push a car at rest compared to push a scooter if it is asked amount of force required to push a car and amount of force required to push a scooter both are in rest position then surely one can reply the amount of force i mean net force required to push a car is more compared to the scooter why because mass of the car is what more next one is it is extremely difficult for one person to lift a sack of grain weighing 50 kg 50 kg sack is there i mean grain is there in a sack mass is 50 kg in order to lift such a mass one person feel very difficult so it requires multiple people more force so multiple people can easily lift such a sack of grain having uh, mass 50 kg what is the reason the reason behind it is what more force will be there if we utilize multiple people next one this is due to the more number of persons net force will be more so if multiple people use the force will be more net force will be more so that it is very easy to lift such a sack of grain by using multiple people in cricket you know a fielder's hand pulled back when while catching the cricket ball coming with high speed why pulled back if a fielder is not going to pull back the hands then what happens impact of the ball will be more on his hands and there is a possibility of losing the catch it means hands are pulled back to reduce the impact of the ball the little delay reduces the momentum of the ball so it affects on the momentum of the ball now let us turn the another statement or the same statement in another way the second law of newton's second law of motion state that the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the impress the force acts in the direction of the force see suppose a boy is throwing a tennis ball to you same boy is going to throw cricket ball to you then impact of cricket ball is more why mass is more in the same way if a boy is throwing towards you a cricket ball with large force 
as much as he possible and a man or player is going to throw the same ball towards you with as much force as he can then in that case in these two situations it is clear that impact of the ball thrown by the player is more because more force i mean momentum is directly proportional to the impetus of the force and acts in the direction of the force in the same way in case of the ball is stopped quickly the momentum is reduced to zero suddenly since the rate of change of momentum is quick the player may injure his hands while catching the ball player may injure his hands when the player pulls his hands back more amount of time is given to change what the rate of momentum to zero so as the rate of momentum become zero so it will be easier to catch the player i mean this momentum becomes zero this momentum depends upon the force acting on it and if more time is taken then it reduces to zero then what are the facts force and the acceleration are always positive force is never negative acceleration never negative because of mass of a body m is a scalar quantity what is m scalar quantity so that f and acceleration both are positive and newton's second law is also referred to as the real law because the other two laws can be explained with the help of newton's second law. why it is called as real law because first law and third law can be explained with the help of the second law that's why newton's second law is said to be a real law now let us turn towards newton's third law of motion very it is important there are various applications of newton's third law of motion in our day to day life how while walking on the ground one leg we have to lift another leg we have to put down one is putting down other one is lifting one is action other one is reaction so such a action and reaction they are not in the same direction they are exactly in what opposite direction but remember the magnitude of the forces in acting and reaction are same magnitude is same only directions are opposite newton's third law of motion Newton's third law of motion states that for every action there is equal and opposite reaction. The force always exists in pairs. Pairs, a single and isolated force cannot exist. If two objects interact, both interact with each other. The force F one two. exerted on the object 1 object 1 by the object 2 called as action it is equal in magnitude but in opposite direction to the force f21 exerted on the object 2 by object 1 these two forces are equal in magnitude but of course their directions are what 
मैं आपको चीज तो ये चीज दो एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन आर इक्वल एंड अपोजिट देन नेवर कैंसिल ईच वन दिस पॉइंट वन हैज टू रिमेंबर सो स्टेटमेंट यू रिमेंबर फॉर एवरी एक्शन देयर इज इक्वल एंड अपोजिट रिएक्शन a fireman has to hold his hold the pipe fire brigade officer you know so the fireman has to hold the pipe strongly in order to prevent it from going backwards as the water is flowing out in the pipe of the pipe pushes it back water flows in this direction pipe goes in this direction both are in opposite so water a fireman has to hold the pipe strong in the same way when a bullet is fired from the gun the gun exerts a force which action on the bullet and the, at the same time bullet also exerts the same force called as reaction on the gun in opposite direction i mean whenever force is exerted by bullet ah uh, sorry first of all we take whenever the force is exerted by gun on the bullet then bullet moves with the velocity called as nozzle velocity at the same time gun is also going to exert the reaction force because of which gun also goes backward with a velocity called as recoil velocity it means to for every action there is equal and opposite reaction then you may ask that gun is, bullet is going so far and gun is not going so far backward though the forces exerted on each of them are equal in magnitude so reason behind it is that mass of the gun is more compared to mass of the bullet so in second law we have seen acceleration is more if the mass is less so in case of gun mass is more compared to mass of the bullet yes in this way newton's law third law of motion we have seen in detail with the examples in the same way applications the gases ejected downward due to burning of the rocket or fuel in the rocket exerts an upward reaction on the rocket because of which the rocket propagate in upward direction the action of a rotated rotatory lawn sprinkler you know a sprinkler it is utilized to sprinkle the water on the ground yes let's discuss again the action of a rotary lawn sprinkler is based on the third law of motion see how the water coming out of the nozzle exerts an equal and opposite force in the backward direction so because of this what happens this causes the sprinkler to rotate in the opposite direction hence water is scattered in all directions uniformly so this is very best example of uh, newton's third law of motion now one more when a man jumps down on the shore from a boat you know boat suppose you are traveling by boat and once you come to the shore once we jumps down on the shore then what happens the boat moves backward why your body is going to exert the force in opposite direction on the boat so that boat is going to move or accelerate in backward direction so in this way so these are the way in newton's law is a valid for non accelerated things rigid bodies which do not show deformation so remaining remaining concept from this chapter we discuss in uh, next lecture and if you have any difficulty then you can